Review 5 We now review again. This time we are ready to give more effort and more time to what we undertake. We recognize we are preparing for another phase of understanding. We would take this step completely, that we may go on again more certain, more sincere, with faith upheld more surely. Our footsteps have not been unwavering and doubts have made us walk uncertainly and slowly on the road this course sets forth. But now we hasten on, for we approach a greater certainty, a firmer purpose and a surer goal. Steady our feet, our Father. Let our doubts be quiet and our holy minds be still and speak to us. We have no words to give to you. We would but listen to your word and make it ours. Lead our practicing as does a father lead a little child along a way he does not understand. Yet does he follow, sure that he is safe because his father leads the way for him. So do we bring our practicing to you. And if we stumble, you will raise us up. If we forget the way, we count upon your sure remembering. We wander off, but you will not forget to call us back. Quicken our footsteps now, that we may walk more certainly and quickly unto you. And we accept the word you offer us to unify our practicing as we review the thoughts that you have given us. This is the thought which should precede the thoughts that we review. Each one but clarifies some aspect of this thought or helps it be more meaningful, more personal and true and more descriptive of the holy self we share and now prepare to know again. God is but love and therefore so am I. This self alone knows love. This self alone is perfectly consistent in its thoughts, knows its creator, understands itself, is perfect in its knowledge and its love, and never changes from its constant state of union with its father and itself. And it is this that waits to meet us at the journey's ending. Every step we take brings us a little nearer. This review will shorten time immeasurably if we keep in mind that this remains our goal and as we practice it is this to which we are approaching. Let us raise our hearts from dust to life as we remember this is promised us and that this course was sent to open up the path of light to us and teach us, step by step, how to return to the eternal self we thought we lost. I take this journey with you, for I share your doubts and fears a little while, that you may come to me who recognize the road by which all fears and doubts are overcome. We walk together. I must understand uncertainty and pain, although I know they have no meaning. Yet a savior must remain with those he teaches, seeing what they see, but still retaining in his mind the way which led him out and now will lead you out with him. 
God's Son is crucified until you walk along the road with me. My resurrection comes again each time I lead a brother safely to the place at which the journey ends and is for God. I am renewed each time a brother learns there is a way from misery and pain. I am reborn each time a brother's mind turns to the light in him and looks for me. I have forgotten no one. Help me now to lead you back to where the journey was begun, to make another choice with me. Release me as you practice once again the thoughts I brought to you from him who sees your bitter need and knows the answer God has given him. Together we review these thoughts. Together we devote our time and effort to them. And together we will teach them to our brothers. God would not have heaven incomplete. It waits for you as I do. I am incomplete without your part in me. And as I am made whole, we go together to our ancient home, prepared for us before time was, and kept unchanged by time, immaculate and safe, as it will be at last when time is done. Let this review be then your gift to me. For this alone I need, that you will hear the words I speak and give them to the world. You are my voice, my eyes, my feet, my hands, through which I save the world. The self from which I call to you is but your own. To him we go together. Take your brother's hand, for this is not a way we walk alone. In him I walk with you, and you with me. Our Father wills his Son be one with him. What lives but must not then be one with you. Let this review become a time in which we share a new experience for you, yet one as old as time and older still. Hallowed your name. Your glory undefiled forever, and your wholeness now complete as God established it. You are His Son, completing His extension in your own. We practice but an ancient truth we knew before illusion seemed to claim the world. And we remind the world that it is free of all illusion every time we say, God is but love, and therefore so am I. With this we start each day of our review. With this we start and end each period of practice time. And with this thought we sleep, to waken once again with these same words upon our lips to greet another day. No thought that we review but we surround with it and use the thoughts to hold it up before our minds and keep it clear in our remembrance throughout the day. And thus, when we have finished this review, we will have recognized the words we speak are true. Yet are the words but aids to be used, except at the beginning and the end of practice periods, but to recall the mind as needed to its purpose. We place faith in the experience that comes from practice, not the means we use. We wait for the experience and recognize that it is only here conviction lies. We use the words, 
and try and try again to go beyond them to their meaning, which is far beyond their sound. The sound grows dim and disappears as we approach the source of meaning. It is here that we find rest. Review 5 Lesson 171 Review 151 152 God is but love and therefore so am I. All things are echoes of the voice of God. God is but love, and therefore so am I. The power of decision is my own. God is but love, and therefore so am I.